Okay, so it's not the ferry to Newfoundland, but it's still a ferry. The Have Cable Ferry. I try to take this every time I'm doing the shore roads. Old Guy on a Bike presents 106 Days on the Road. Come join me on my travels from Newfoundland to Alabama and back again. Okay, we'll see ya. Okay, just spent time with an old friend. I'm leaving about an hour later than I had originally intended. I've got a long day ahead of me. Um, we're gonna still spend some time down along the shore. Old haunts, old places. Yes, as I was telling my friend, I was kind of disappointed. Seaside seafood is uh, closed. Of course, their their motto is "World's Best Clams." Don't know about if they're the best, but darn it, their uh, their deep fried clams were always really good. Hunts Point, nice little beach. Uh, but probably too much in the way of development going on. No, those aren't quite as bad as what I thought they were going to be. Uh, now, right about here was the first time I ever had a motorcycle to 80 miles an hour. And that and just for just for a minute, that was my Honda 350 Street Scrambler. And this was within a day or two of getting it on the road uh, after taking it apart. And uh, it had been sitting in a burn for a few years. So we tore it apart and uh, changed all the fluids, cleaned everything very well. Uh, the only issue with that was the fact that it still had t tires on it that were probably five years old. And uh, they were a little cracked and a little bit, uh, they, you know, tread wasn't worn, but they were certainly old and dry. And I rode that motorcycle up to uh, Welland, Ontario with those tires and got caught on the 401 with them. And, uh, In really bad traffic, so it could have been it could have been nasty. Okay, so this whole stretch it looks like into town has been uh, it's widened, We've got new pavement. Uh, this isn't bad at all. This morning I'm going to stick mostly to the shore. I'm going to go down some roads that. I've done many times, lots of good memories. There's a lot of street work happening in my hometown of Liverpool, so they detour me back into the areas I came through yesterday. Lots of nostalgia here. So much has changed since I grew up and left Liverpool. So much has changed, but 
then again, there's an awful lot that is still so much the same. This old town has a lot of history. Not just my history with it, but history going quite a ways back. I'm thinking about the people I knew, how many have come back, and oh, I recognize the name there. And on a whim, I'm just going to turn around and go back and say hi. Okay, saw so another old school person, another old friend who uh, I've not seen in probably 30 years, just long enough to say hello. She's running a, she and her husband are running an outfitting business here, and they do customize baggage for for adventurers hospitals and all of that such plus having kayaks and doing adventure tours First years in uh, in Nova Scotia were spent here. Got fond memories of that parish hall and dances. Lived just up there on Markland, Dexter Avenue. Waterfront and yep, the old mill. Almost all the main buildings are gone. Uh, marina. I helped sail the vessel from here at one point. Some older houses look like in bad shape and lots of ones that are uh, no, pretty good shape, but they're old. Houses here, they're, you know, 200 years old. Road's a little rough. Okay, there is fish farming happening out here. People aren't very happy with that. And uh, I don't blame them. Open pen fish par farming is, is not really good. Now, yeah, Coffin Island over there. Beach Meadows! I still have the memories of a five-year-old on that beach with my parents. We'd gather driftwood, have a fire, and boil hot dogs in seawater. Might not have been the healthiest thing in the world, but I remember them tasting really, really good. Always take a little jaunt down to Port Medway when I'm down this way. Another church that's turned into a a uh, a bit more of a 
Well, it's a museum for Carol Baker, country song, country artist. I like that old place. And that graveyard, I've been in there a couple of times doing photos. And this is the port of Port Medway. And of course, it uh, was a very, very busy place uh, for a long time. Still some fishing out of here, but the uh, it was quite the bustling place. People waving, saying hi. I don't think I know them, but uh, just being friendly. So yeah, if you're traveling through Nova Scotia along the South Shore, you want to just you know stick as much as possible on the Lighthouse route. Uh, you're gonna have more. You're not going to be making a heck of a lot of time, but the roads are a little bit more interesting. Some of them are a little rough, but you've got a chance to see lots of, lots more small towns and things. Yeah, we're getting some blue skies, 14 degrees. All right, we're just gonna take a little, again, as I said, a little side trip. Mill Village, always a pretty little town. I haven't been down this road in quite a while. Beautiful river. So this is the Medway River. Very old graves, graveyard. The back roads I've not been on here. There's only a few, there's a few of those. No. Okay, in a very old little town. This was the main highway at one point. Friendly people. Okay, this is gonna take me at least an hour to do. Do I do this or not? Well, all the communities have certainly shrunk a bit. I think most of the communities here are 
the demographics are are much older than they they were 50 years ago. May not be as many children being brought up in these communities. The schools might not be as vibrant. But uh, they're communities a lot of us would like to to certainly move into and be part of. Vogler's Cove, yes. High tide. Keep your eye on the road, Jim. It's very pretty out there, but keep your eye on the road. And certainly, you know, there's some nice old churches through here. In 15, 20 years, boy, if, you know, the, all it takes is high tide being a foot, foot and a half higher, and uh, a lot of houses are going to be in trouble. But. Uh, But the, all these small ports were very vibrant communities for a long time. And now they still are, I think. But in a different way. A lot of people, as I said, have come back, retired to places like this. Beaver, Beaver Lodge in that pond. How often do you see churches built across the street from each other or side by side, fighting for the souls of the community? I think I've said that before coming through here. Sometimes I'm not sure. A lot of this trip has been memories for me but I think a lot of it has also been memories for the communities. And this is the whole trip, whether it's here in Nova Scotia or in Hannibal, Missouri. There's a memory. I always liked that stone house. Beach stones. I like that. I've had great sandwiches and sweets at the La Have Bakery. Nice little stop before taking the La Have Cable Ferry, but I don't have time to stop today. The Cable Ferry is a load and go. And the past couple years since COVID, it's also been free. Oh, she's now recalculating with me halfway across the river. Knocked 10 uh, kilometers off. 
Still looking at six hours though. And we're going seven kilometers an hour crossed on the ferry. That's kind of interesting. This, I've got to admit, is about where my day starts going sideways. At some point here, I lose my keys, or my spare set of keys. And going into Riverport, well, seems there's a lot of construction going on, and there's also a lot of damage to the roads from the last hurricane that they're just getting around to repairing. Now the signage is really good for detours if you're a local, but I really want to go through Riverport and on towards Lunenburg. I know I didn't have time to actually go into Lunenburg, but I was gonna stay on the shore road until I got there. So I start hitting the detour signs and construction. Now some of it looks like just, you know, normal drains and stuff being changed in town. And oh, there's another couple of churches across from each other. Keep those in mind. But I'm getting signs for detours, but the detours don't say where you're detouring to. Hmm. And I get to a certain point in the road and this young lady tells me, well, the bridge is out ahead and you can't get to Lunenburg from here. So I go back and around. Okay. I've come down here. So that was a detour that was taking me around in a circle. No signage as to how to get to Lunenburg from here. And I was sure that was going to take me back down the same exact same road I'd been on. So we're going to have to backtrack a bit. Yeah, there's no way I'm doing the cabot trail today. It's going to have to be a tomorrow thing. Okay, but the India Path Bridge is out. I'm worried about where I'm going to end up. Well, I finally get to the other side of the bridge that is out. I can see it from this intersection. It's definitely out. 
I've still got some really nice shore road to ride before I get into Mahone Bay, but I'm starting to feel a little pressed for time. Mahone Bay is a pretty little town. It has become a little bit of a tourist trap though in the last decade or so. Lots of unique shops and even in October there's still lots of people here. Some good places to eat, some cafes, some are seasonal. But I'm here because I've been off the island for two months and I had better go home bearing some sort of gift. And that's kind of easy. My destination is coming up here on the left, but uh, there's not a lot of good parking on my side of the street, so we're just going to go down and turn around. Yep, bus loads of tourists here. But I'm stopping in Amos Pewter. Something small, but significant to take back. Okay, I killed a lot of time chasing those detours. Luckily, there's an Irving here to fill the tank, and there's a Tim Hortons attached to it to have a quick coffee. When I get on the road now, it's all going to be highway riding. I'm resigned to the fact that I'm not going to make it to Cape Breton today. It's already getting really dark by 7, 7.30. And I'm going to end up taking a hotel in New Glasgow, Nova Scotia. Get what I need off the bike and then find a place to park it for the night. It's been a long day, but a good day. I have to think about the fact that this has been 104 days that I have been on the road. Lots of things to think about. get to contemplate a little bit of that while, tra while trying that Sexton River maple flavored bourbon. Thanks Brian. Cheers to everyone. Thanks for coming along. Tomorrow we're going to have one last go at the Cabot Trail.